In this video, I'm going to show you the simple mechanics of a trigger and then show you what we like to do with triggers, what we do with triggers, how they work as bigger constraints and all that kind of thing on a later trigger. But for now, let's just do a hello world trigger. Uh, a trigger, well, if you think of a trigger on a gun, for example, I, I think that's where the name comes from, is, is basically, if you think of a, when, when somebody fires the trigger, um, something happens, some code executes. And so triggers, we attach them to uh, things like tables and views, and when people do inserts or deletes or updates on our on our table, then this code will execute, and we can do whatever we want in this code. But let me just show you real quick. Create trigger my trigger on customers table. Let's just go with customers because we've been using that for all the videos. Um, let's do after, and I'll explain the after later. Don't worry about it for now. Update. Uh, and let's do an insert too. After update or insert, basically saying let's run this trigger when they update something on our table or insert it into our table. As I'm going to put a begin and an end. And then in here I'm going to say print hello world from my trigger. Alright, and then uh, we'll say go. I believe that should work. Let's run that. Command completed successfully. So trigger, just like a view or a or a, a function, or those kind of things that I've shown you in the previous videos. They're just more objects in our tables. So if I look at Northwind here, and I look at tables, I already had it open, and uh, I believe we had customers, and here's triggers. So I have my trigger. I just added this thing to my database. Okay. So let, let's make the trigger do something. Well, in order to make the trigger fire off, I have to uh, insert or update in the customers table. So let's look at the customers table real quick. Let's just have some fun here. Customers. Now if I hit F5, it's going to come around and say, hey, you already have my trigger in there. So I could do two things. I could comment this out. I could close this file. I could delete all that. Or I can do the normal check that I have been doing. And in, uh, in my other videos, I'm just going to check if the trigger's there. Uh, if that is not null, then drop, oops, droip, drop trigger my trigger go all right so we got our normal checks there create trigger my trigger let's scroll this down select spot from customers okay so let's let's mess with uh i don't want to mess with that one. Oh, it looks like i've already changed the contact name here for blahs so let's do that i'm gonna say update customers set contact name to bill where Customer ID is equal to blaws, B L A U S, and I don't have to case it, but blaws. All right, we're going to change this Jamie to a blaws. So uh, watch what happens when we do the update here. I'm going to highlight just the update part and hit F5 so that runs by itself. Boom, and we see that our trigger executed. It's hello world for my trigger. One row is affected. So notice the trigger. The, tr the trigger ran, and then we get the message. So part of doing this uh, update was firing off this trigger, making this trigger go. And if I select Splat from Customers, we'll see I have uh, Bill here for Blahs. So the update still occurred, but then this little side code was triggered or fired when we did our update. Okay, And I said it would because it said update here. In fact, let's just delete that. And I'm going to update Customers. Instead of contact name Bill, I'm going to do some ASDFE kind of stuff. And uh, let's rerun this, and notice uh, we don't get we don't get our print anymore. It's gone because we didn't do an insert. We just did a an update. Let's let's insert. I can't remember what fields are required. Insert into customers um, val. Oh wait, let's do contact name uh, values me new customer. Let's do that. Let's, uh, uh, oh, we need a customer ID too. So let's do me new value lu. Uh, run that. See. Oh, whoops. <laughs> that's the value. <laughs> that's not the. That's not the column name. Let's do customer ID. And I think there's one more column required. Yeah, I'm slaughtering this insert all over the place. Let's go here. Cannot insert null into company name. Okay, so company name. We'll do. Newmont. Okay, I think that's it. So, so if I run this insert, remember I said insert here, so we should see a hello world happen again. So let's let's run the insert. Ah, there's the hello world again. So the update didn't cause it this time, but the insert did because I said insert. And again, I'll talk about what the after means 
later. But that's that's a hello world trigger. Um, in the next few videos, I'm going to show you why they're important, what kind of things we can do in there. Yada yada. yada.